All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can see this, but right here is a tag, and right over here on this tree, if I can pull it down, is another tag. This right here is the border of lot number 10. Lot number 10, item number 991043. We already showed you lot number seven. We showed you lot number eight. We showed you lot number nine. And now we're on lot number 10. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the divider between lot number nine right here. And I want her to kind of pan over here so that you can kind of see that beautiful front of lot number nine. because we did end it inside the woods because we also kind of went to a little bit of a commercial break with Claude, Claude's Yard Service, Claude and Don. They're the ones that cleared this whole area out right here so that you can actually see the natural beauty. One thing about it, years and years of growth, you get grass, a little bit of grass up here, ladies and gentlemen, but it looks kind of like hay this time of year. So anyway, long and this should not quite as rough as hay, but the color of hay. Oh. Oats, there you go, oats. But here we go, beginning in lot number 10 right here, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna enter right over here because I do see a little bit of a clearing. So we're gonna come in on an angle. Lot number 10, here we go. Item number 991043 in your catalog. The front of lot number 10 is 75 feet to my next sign. You're gonna go. 144 feet back here, the divider between eight and number, or excuse me, lot number nine and lot number 10, 144 feet back. Your rear property line is gonna be another 75 feet back. And then you're gonna come up 142 feet back to that sign over there, which will be the divider between lot number 10 and lot number 11. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is an incredible opportunity to own one, two, three, four, or all five of these consecutive adjacent lots right here in the Cheyenne edition on Utah Drive in beautiful Cherokee Village, Arkansas. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Seven lakes, two 18-hole golf courses, a community center, rec center, tennis, you name it, ladies and gentlemen. Anything and everything you could possibly want is right here in Cherokee Village. Some of your B-roll is gonna show you how close you are to Dollar General stores. This is actually its own community. I can't tell you how many different fire departments we went by in this little area because it spans, the nice thing about Cherokee Village is it literally spans across two counties. It is a little bit of country and a whole lot of big city. Absolutely beautiful. You have parks, playgrounds, rec center, clubs, organizations, uh, seven lakes, boating, fishing, tennis. I forgot the other ball. Shuffleboard. All kinds of things. And we'll re keep, recap that. You'll hear more about it in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, when you become a property owner here, you're automatically entitled to all of the fabulous, fabulous activities and the lovely lifestyle, what I'm going to call a lifestyle of living in Cherokee Village. It is one of the most beautiful communities I've ever seen. Most of the people that drive down the street, they're going to stop. They're going to say hello. They're going to talk with you a few minutes. It's getting a little late in the afternoon, so we're going to kind of run through some of these a little bit quicker than others because we still have another four lots that we'd like to get to that are also consecutive. After lot 11, you've got a little easement area, and then we'll get on to lot number 12, 13, 14, and 15. Time permitting. We hope we can. Maybe maybe not we'll try to get through as many as we can but ladies and gentlemen five lots in a row beautiful lots if you buy them all win them all at auction today you would have 1.4 acres low low property taxes very reasonable association and assessment fees but we're going to go ahead and make our way into this lot we'll see you at the end on number the border between 10 and 11. We're gonna give you a little bit of interior view and we'll see you back at the auction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're inside lot number 10. 
I'm going to kind of let her give you a pan over here, but right here is a beautiful area that you could actually clear out some of these cedar right in front of me. Actually, you could go a little bit beyond my camera person, Lori. Right here is a fantastic building area, and we literally just got into the lot. We might be 45, 50 feet inside the lot, and right here, it's so level. It's so beautiful. We've got a whole lot of thin trees, money to be made on the cedar. I already introduced you to some gentlemen, Claude and Dawn, they can actually help you clear the lots if in fact that's the route you want to go. But ladies and gentlemen, right here, it's absolutely gorgeous. 80 degrees outside today, but I tell you what, it feels every bit of 70, 72. Now I'm going to walk over here to a little bit more of a clearing. I don't know if you can see me, ladies and gentlemen, but this is also another kind of clear spot over here. Again, fantastic area for part of your home right here. We're basically at, not even halfway into your lot. Behind me is lot number nine, eight, seven. We're on lot number 10. Over here, we're heading toward lot number 11. We're gonna go ahead and jet to the back very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, because we got four more lots and it's already late afternoon. I don't even know if we'll be able to get it all done before dark, but we sure are gonna try. So we'll see you on down the road. Got to make my way through here because, uh, like I said, some of these cedars, they've got sprawling branches. They're high, they're low, they're everywhere. But here we go. I can already see the marker, kind of catty corner from me. That's going to be your property line dividing 10 from 11. 10 from 11. You already saw 9, 8, 7, all the way down. Now we're gonna make our way over here. But look at how gorgeous this is. Here's another beautiful area. Clear out a few cedar, but you've got some gorgeous mature oak. Mature oak. Smaller oak, up to you whether or not you wanna keep them and let them mature. But if I were you, I would go ahead and get rid of some of the spiny cedar. Again, there's money to be made in the cedar, but this right here is another lovely building area. I'm gonna go ahead and let her just do a quick long shot and I'm gonna run right over to that point and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna give you a quick pan of this lot because we got a lot of land to get to, ladies and gentlemen. As I approach the back, I do have that little divot in the back. It's a little bit wider this time. That's where all the deer come. It looks like you got a little bit of an animal trail and you also have a creek bed. So four seasons here, ladies and gentlemen. Your longest seasons being spring and fall, the two most gorgeous seasons of any four season country. Right here, right now, Cherokee Village. But I'm making my way back here. Bob wire fence and the old ranch style uh, fence post is going to show you your far corner between lot number 10 and 11. I had to remember which lot I was on folks because I got to tell you we've done a lot and we got a lot more to come. Here we go. I'm going down. This is your little creek bed. And I'm back here with my flag. I don't know if you can see me or not. I'm waving. I know I'm far away, but right here is your uh, fence post. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and let Lori come back up to me and we'll kind of give you a little bit of view back here and then I'll walk and give you a little bit of pan on the inside. So uh, come on, Lori. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this seems to be the nature trail. You know, I'm starting to think this actually, this little divot could have been created by the animals. I'm not 100% on that. But I got to tell you, beyond that fence, our fence is directly behind us. It has a little bit of a dip. So this is where your waterway is going to be. This is where the animals are going to come thirst. Again, you have a little bit of bristle briar here. When they bloom and they get berries, the animal, the deer, they're going to be coming and they're going to be eating that. Right up here is your old ranch style fence post. Right here is your barbed wire fence. So this right here is the divider between lot number 10 and lot number 9. Earlier you saw lot number 8, lot number 7, 9, 8, and then 7. 
We're already here dividing 10 this side of me, 11 this side of me. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut your film. I'm gonna give you a quick pan of lot number 10 and then I'm gonna give you a quick peek from the back of lot number 11. Again, time is not on our side this evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting late afternoon, so we gotta hustle and bustle, but we'll see you in a few. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we made it again. Item number 991043, lot number 10, Utah Drive, Cheyenne Edition. You have 75 feet across the front, 144 feet up your left-hand side, 75 feet across the rear, and 142 feet down the right-hand side. I am standing on the border of lot number 10 and lot number 11. Okay, and here we go. Lot number 10, 10,725 square feet. It is 0.25 of an acre. We're gonna go ahead and give you a slight pan of the front. Our final lot in this segment is lot number 11. That is item number 991044. Item number 991044. You've got 75 feet across the front, 142 feet up the left, 75 across the rear, and 140 back on your far right hand side. This one's 10,575 square feet, 0.24 of an acre lot. 
So again, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end up showing you. After this one, you will have seen lot seven, lot eight, lot nine, lot 10, and lot 11. If you happen to be the lucky bidder, winner, and you wanna take all five, you will have a total of 1.4 acres on Utah Drive from basically that white sign over there, the end of 11, all the way to the back of my van down there. You're gonna see a drive through when we get done with lot 11, we're gonna drive down the street and we're gonna show you just how fantastic the frontage is. Again, you've seen the interior of the lots. Some of them have a little bit more scrubby trees, easy to get rid of. You met Claude service. We'll definitely make sure the studio has their information, but we're gonna head on in here so we can get to some more lots for you. And you know what? We'll see you at the auction, but she's gonna go ahead and pan down toward the end of lot 11 so you can see the whole front, and then we'll hit the inside.